If you're looking to improve your guitar playing this year, then check out this simple practice hack. Hey, I'm John with the Blues Guitar Institute, and this is your Tuesday Blues, where we take cool acoustic blues concepts and we break them down into small, bite-sized chunks so that you can get this stuff into your playing as fast as possible. And today, we're going to continue this theme that we've been really focusing on, and that is how to really get a lot of results from your practice time. It's very easy to fall into the trap of practicing and not really getting anywhere. And today, I'm going to show you a little practice hack that will really help you get some results. And I'm talking about recording yourself. This is a cool little tip. It's something that I do all the time, and not just for these lessons, but something I put into my personal practice that can really help you get further and further in your progression as a guitar player. We'll talk a little bit deeper about why, and then I'll show you a couple things as far as like how to do it. You don't need a huge elaborate setup. You can actually get done with probably some technology that you have just at your disposal already. First off, why do you need to record yourself? What's the win here? Well, back in Tuesday Blues, number 181, we talked about deliberate practice, and that's a concept coming from a book uh, and several studies of Dr. K. Anders Erickson. It's all about performance mastery and how you actually get better, the science behind it. So it's just really cool stuff. And one key aspect of um, deliberate practice, which is the mechanism to help you get there, is that it requires uh, focus and it requires feedback. And the feedback part is what we're going to focus on today. So it requires a continuous loop and sort of self-assessment and self-correction in order to get as much mileage as possible from your practice session. And that's where recording yourself can come in handy. If you play a performance or you play through a piece that you've been practicing and you record it, you can go back later, whether it's video or audio, doesn't matter, but you can go back later and watch it or listen to it and then listen with a critical ear and really listen to see if you made any mistakes, see if you nailed it. You want to be critical. You don't want to be too tough on yourself, but you want to be honest and you want to say, you know what, I missed that bend or my timing's a little off and make notes as you do this. And then this th that little bullet list that you come up with, the more it might scare you if this is new to you, um, you're recording and listening back, it's going to uncover some things and you're playing that you did not have a clue that you were doing. But write down, jot down that little bullet list as you go back and listen. And I, I recommend doing that listening session without the guitar even. So put that down and just use your ears or your ears and eyes if you're doing a video. But then the key is to go back and work on those areas, work on smoothing things out, get some practice materials ready that are targeted on fixing that problem. Okay, that's how you use this stuff. That's how you use a recording to actually get better. Think of it as the way you know athletes and pro teams will spend hours and hours and hours watching video, breaking down video. They're using that stuff. It's valuable information, and the same can be valuable for you if you record yourself with a video or just audio only, as long as you play it back and you go through the process of being a little self-critical and then making sure that you can not only diagnose that the problems in your playing, but that you can practice your way around it. Okay, as I mentioned before, you can get started with probably the technology that you already have. And the most obvious solution here is a smartphone. If you have a smartphone that's made within the last, I don't know, five years, the camera on this thing is pretty awesome. And it's definitely good enough to film yourself. You could certainly do audio only with a little sound recorder app. Um, but you know, the smartphones these days, I've got a pixel here. So this is Android. It's got a fantastic camera on it. And I got this little stand and a little adapter so that I can plop this thing in here, fire up the camera app, which is just the standard app, make sure that I've got it um, you know, turned around so that I can see myself. And I just sit this thing on the desk and make sure that my guitar's in in frame and then I can record. And I'm picking up, you know, a good sound, decent sound, not the best with the microphone on here, but it's good enough. And the picture is is actually quite quite good. You can save the video, upload it to YouTube, private, uh, set it to private so you're not sharing it with the world if you don't want to. These are your practice sessions that might get a little too raw, a little too real. But the key is that uh, this is a go-to way of recording. Very easy, very quick. And again, most of us already have this technology just right at your fingertips. 
All right, so one other way that I record myself is an audio only option, and it's a computer based option. So I've got a microphone here. It's uh, we're not going to get too deep into the gear and the technical side of things. If you want more on that, then uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll be happy to shoot a video at some point. But I'm going into an Audio Technica condenser microphone and plugging into an audio interface, which is just a, a box that basically takes this analog signal and turns it into something that the computer can understand because that's the next step in the chain. We're gonna take that audio interface connected to the computer, in my case with a USB cable, and then uh, that allows a program like uh, Sonar, is the one that I use, Cakewalk Sonar, and it, it takes that signal and then records audio into that program. So there's more that goes into that. And again, we're not going to get too in the weeds on that. It's a simple setup. Um, and it's amazing how cheap you can actually get started with this stuff. But the cool thing is once it's actually in Sonar, you can export. There's pretty good audio quality, a lot better than what I'm getting from my phone. And it's good enough so that I, I don't mind sharing it with people. Uh, I don't mind getting comments or review notes from, from my, my guitar buddies that way. And then I also will, you know, burn a CD or, you know, put it, um, you know, on my phone so that I can stream it somewhere. I like to put things on loop and listen to it as I'm driving. And that's a way I can make some mental notes on just, you know, what parts of that performance make me cringe. And that's the key part is you've got to really listen for the mistakes, make note of them, and then come back and address them. But anyway, this is a quick setup. Again, the microphone going into the audio interface, audio interface into the computer, the computer. It doesn't stop there, right? You got to get that file, get that thing out of the computer and use it. And that's the same if you're recording on the phone. You got to use what you capture and that's the magic and that's how you apply the concepts of deliberate practice so we've talked about why this is important why you should record yourself we've talked about two ways of how you should record yourself and now what should you record well here's an idea and it's a, a shameless self-promotion here but check out bgi's premium uh, member area and the courses that come with premium membership now a lot of those have a performance video and if you're practicing and practicing and practicing a great way to check yourself would be to record yourself playing the practice video and then do a little self-assessment on that or for bonus points you can post that video in the premium members forum and get some comments from your friends some encouragement and you know i'll chime in and, and give you some helpful hints tips and tricks there as well all right that's it for this week i hope you really enjoyed this i know there wasn't any string action going on here but this is really really important if you want to get better this year try this little practice hack along with the other other stuff that we've been talking about recently in terms of practice and deliberate practice specifically. All right, that's it for this week. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Be sure to practice smart and play on, and I'll see you next Tuesday.